Hello, everyone. Hello. 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 Yes. <laughs> well, hello. Yes. <laughs> hello. Hello. <laughs> yes. So, welcome to the Conscious Spirit and TCS Everyday Psychics. I'm Pam. I'm Mary Lynn. And I'm Sarah. <laughs> yes, it's Sarah. Now, if you've been with us for a while, it was almost exactly a year ago that I flew across the country to see Sarah <laughs> and the Airbnb that I stayed in was haunted. And just by luck, what do you know? And <laughs> Sarah and I did a vid a, a vid a vid a, one of those videos, at clear it. So you might remember her from that. So Sarah, yeah. Um, yeah. do you like to say hello to Sarah? Sarah is now a full fledged practitioner at TCS. Yay. So yes, we're, she is. <laughs> yes, we're welcoming her and so glad she's here. And now I'll hand it over to you if you'd like. Sure. Yes. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you for the introduction. Um, yes, that was a great trip when Pam oh, came wow. last year. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, I I am uh, delighted to be on the channel and uh, delighted to be offering services on the, the TCS website. So check it out. Yes. And Sarah is also, now, for those of you who've watched our, or listened to our podcast this week, some of this is repeat what we're saying about Sarah because we introduced her there as well. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. She is the head of TCS, the paranormal team. So when you reach out to us for a clearing and you want our students to take care of it, well, she's the lead over there. So um yeah, she's fabulous. Anyway, okay, <laughs> stuff about her. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> we have some great TikTok videos for you today. <laughs> and I'm going to thank Trevor. He uh, sent me at least one of them, if not two of them, I think, two of the three. And he's a fabulous student. You'll meet him someday as well. But anyway, is there anything else we'd like to say before we just jump right into these? Oh. I don't know, but I'm anxious yeah. to jump in. Okay. Yes. Well, <laughs> let's, let's just jump in then. Okay. All right. Here we go. Usually when people pass, they create a portal or a doorway wherever their spirit entered or perforated the veil. It leaves a portal or a door. Okay. There, I'm, I'm stopping that there because... <laughs> she, she said when someone yes. dies... Yes. So they just kind of punch through, like, I, and maybe oh. they tunnel. Maybe they tunnel. Right. Maybe they... I, no, no. So, um, okay. All fun aside, now, and that's going to happen a lot today, right? But yeah, that's not what portals are used for. That's not how they're created. That's not how they're made. Um, spirits. I don't know how many times we have to talk about this. They, once you leave the physical body, this deva, you don't need portals or doorways or whatever. Those, there, there are portals, there are doorways, there are windows, there are openings, and each one of them is a little different and happens for different reasons, but they, they really don't need them. So, and I think she said sometimes, right? So I don't know what she thinks the other, I'm not sure. Oh, I, I, don't, know. I don't know. Yeah, don't know. I don't know. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. All right. Ready for the next one? <laughs> I mean, still her, but uh, yeah. we yeah, have let's another. See else, let's see what else she got. A ghost could also be a time lapse apparition where time kind of loops in on itself and you're literally just seeing something that may have happened in the past or less common, something that could happen in the future. Um, I assume what she means is sort of what is sort of known as residual, 
right? And it's just kind of on this loop and she calls it, I wrote it down, time-lapse apparition. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a new one for me, but. That's a, that's but new yes. verbiage, but. Right, yeah. That's true. Yeah. 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 It immediately made me think of just residual. But. Right, yeah. yeah. And no, they can't tell you your future and they're no, not from, from the future that's just weird i don't know it's it's not it's not like they're a conscious right thing, a conscious being that's right. going to be able to tell us what's going to happen right and that, to me, that's that's the way she made it sound like right and it's like no that um from a different from a different lifetime okay maybe like us from a different i'm not sure what she means by that but i it's it's not landing whatsoever <laughs> so i guess she's kind of talking about like an imprint of energy which i guess can happen kind of but sure it's not you're not seeing the future right no you know no, no. That's it's all not like a time we're not going to see the future no near death after death and death is so much more scientific than people give it credit for but overall ghosts spirits, whatever you want to call them, are just as unique as your DNA in your body. No sure. two are alike. Sure. Not exactly anyway. But this particular spirit is having a good time. He's continuing his interest and he's able to explore Whoa. the bottom of the ocean and underneath the water in the way he's always wanted to. There's some um, things to talk about there. Um, she she I kind of get this like she's mixing everything together like healed spirits versus unhealed spirits and like what are you talking about they're off having fun ghosts are not off having fun um especially not unhealed spirits they're correct. they're in fear you know they're not yes. at the bottom of the ocean having a party no they no. don't have the capacity <laughs> to go oh I wanted to go see what it's like at 10,000 leagues under the sea. I right. can also do that. Right. Right. I know. No. If no. they're healed, maybe. Maybe right. they, I mean, a healed spirit can can go places it wants yes. to. Yes. But um, no, definitely not earthies. No. 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 One thing about healed spirits, what I think is awesome. All of us, when we're in those higher realms we're all working on stuff. We're like scientists and teachers and this and that. And we're working and they're far above what we are here. Um, so that's what kind of can, it's like, is she, she said ghosts and um, yeah, no, those are different things. A ghost is literally an earthbound spirit who leaves this body and stays behind in that realm of fear. And they're not having fun at all. But no, they're not. Now, I will agree with every ghost is unique. Every yes. ghost is individual. Because our soul, that's our soul. And absolutely, yeah. absolutely. That part. And I was like, oh, okay. I wonder where else she's going with this. And then she left field somewhere. <laughs> the, <laughs> left her. Like the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> yeah. I will also agree that in the beginning she said, or no, in the middle, I don't know. She said near-death experiences, that, that kind of thing, are more scientific than we know, which I feel like is a weird way of wording it. But sure, you know, like, I, if by science you mean, like, real reality, then yes. And if, yes. Is it measurable? Probably. Can we right now? Not really, you know. Yeah. Yes, you're right. It was kind of a an odd way to say that, but yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, are we ready for some more? I don't, I think that was the last one from her. So here are my personal reasonings why ghosts are a made up fairy tale and that we need to stop believing them as a culture. Number one, a little convenient that it's only at night that we see shit, right? You never see ghosts in the daytime. Darkness has this interesting quality about it that uh, doesn't let you see. So, you know, you're not going to be able to see well. So people are looking in the darkness and their eyes are trying to make sense of anything and they think they saw something. If you stare at the darkness long enough, you're going to see something. There's a Twilight Zone episode about it. <laughs> Actually, no, think if there's a Twilight Zone episode, <laughs> it's <laughs> <think so. laughs> Wow, there was a lot to say there. Um, a, lot in, a lot in there. So, wow. First of all, you don't just see them at nighttime. However, 
there are reasons why they're easier to see with the with the blind eye. With we're talking about the 3D eyes, right? Yep. Yep. None of us need our 3D eyes to see spirit. Matter of fact, we don't see them that way, typically, right? Occasionally, an apparition. Occasionally. Right? Yes. That's right. Yeah. Um, but there is with the darkness, and it's not our eyes, it's our brain, but I'm <laughs> just no. But, but um, oh, I just lost what I was saying. <laughs> just funny. That sort of sensory deprivation mm -hmm. is why like ghost hunters and some mediums and psychics, they like to have all the lights out and everything. It's quieter. You, you're, you're not distracted by as much and you are able to see more. And at the same time, yeah, sometimes you can see stuff that... Is it, you know, we've all seen shadows and then you turn on the light and it's just, you know, I don't know, coat rack or whatever. So yeah, that can happen. I mean, sure. Some of the things he says about looking into the darkness and you're going to find something. Yes, it's true. Our brain wants to make sense of things. Yes, yes. That is a real totally thing. separate thing from seeing a ghost. Yes. And, <laughs> yeah, I've seen ghosts in the daytime. Yeah, we all have. All three of us. It, you know, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sarah, do you yeah. have anything? Are you just up there? Just he's putting forth uh, arguments that he's just sort of making up out of thin air and then tearing down. So it's like nobody's oh. saying these things. You know, nobody is saying you can only see ghosts at night. I don't think I've ever heard anybody right. who knows what they're talking about say that. But uh, he he is treating that like it's been like it's some kind of rule. So yes, you know, I, it's just sort Good of a point. a. Weasley way of making an argument. <laughs> yes, yes, and trying to make fun of those of us who, who right, do see them. Right. All right. Ready for him again? There's also a thing called pareidolia. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but it's a psychological phenomenon that makes you think you see faces and shit. Human beings evolved to understand facial recognition and you know subtle cues to communicate. So we're really good at that, but we see faces and shit that's not actually there a lot of the time. I yeah. I mean, like, have you ever, do you remember, I don't know, Sarah, you're not old enough, um, <laughs> <laughs> but although if you have an older home, you might, you remember, Mary Lynn, how they would, um, like, do the ceilings and all that little popcorn-y stuff, whatever, oh, yes, and you could kind I of do. turn the lights off a little, and you could see all kinds of things, make all sorts of patterns up there and everything, that was so cool, <laughs> and yeah, our brain does try to Make it, but not out of thin air, it doesn't. Not out of thin air. Right? No. Also, like, yes, that's true. What is he trying, what is the point? Yeah, that happens. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So again, yes, but what does that have to do with what we're talking about? Right. I don't know. Okay. No, nada. Nada. All right. Let's, okay. here, I believe this is him again. Another thing, a lot of people say that children and dogs have a little bit more connection to the spiritual world. I just find it convenient that animals and babies seem to have more of a spiritual connection to that side of the world. Maybe because they can't fucking talk and they're notably stupid. You know why your dog was staring wow. out of the bed and growling? Because it is stupid. Because it has three thoughts in total it can have and it can't watch TV so it's bored. You know why your baby is staring in the corner and laughing? Because it doesn't know what the fucking human body can do yet. It's got the user manual and it's hitting random buttons and just trying shit out. Oh boy. So he's trying to be Mr. Um, comedian here and he's just yeah. an I wouldn't be uh, I wouldn't be using the words notably stupid. If I no, was. no. Um so I'm gonna put aside his weird anger and hatred no, towards yeah. babies. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um so our soul is eternal. Our soul has all the wisdom. Our soul is completely connected. And when our soul comes into a baby, it just came from the other side. And it's still a fully developed soul that's been here thousands of years and had however many lifetimes. And so, yeah, it, it knows shit. <laughs> there's more shit than him yes 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 and uh it they do respond they see angels and guides and everything and, mm -hmm. and we've had this conversation about animals sarah do you want to talk about <clears throat> i don't want to put you on the spot 
Uh, just, yes, I guess of. very <laughs> briefly. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, if you don't have all of that sort of ego going on in your your mind, you know, and in, in yourself, you right. are going to be able to. Right. You are going to be able to to connect better. That's just the truth. But yeah. uh, that doesn't mean that only babies and dogs. I mean, I again, he's just making these arguments that are out of nowhere. Yeah. Yeah. Just just silly. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, animals, they're instinctive and instinct and spirit. They come together, you know, instinct and intuition come mm-hmm. from the same place. Yeah, I love the point that Sarah just made, the lack of ego. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And Okay. Animals, oh. well, at least dogs, I'm going to say dogs, definitely have less ego than a cat. Yes. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's probably true. <laughs> uh, I've had many a cat, and I... I... <laughs> They, yes. they have a smidgen of an ego. Yeah, <laughs> just a little. Just a little. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, I think that was the last one from him, but I can't, I, I can't promise you that, but we'll see. There are three ghosts are most seen at spots that are spooky or deserted. What are the odds? It's always a spooky cabin in the woods or an empty mental asylum. How come it's never like you know a DMV? If the argument is that there's bad energy there because something horrible happened, how come there's no ghosts at the beach? People drown at the beach every day. Why are there no ghosts at the beach? Also, how come it's always a human ghost? The majority of things that have died on Earth are not human. They're like ants and shit. How come I don't have rat ghosts running through my apartment? Wow. Okay. I I don't have to know. Where to start with that? I live um, at the beach, and I promise you, people aren't dying at the beach every day. <laughs> so, right, right. Not, I don't know what beach you're talking uh, about, but nor are they dying at the DMV unless some employee right. goes postal or whatever. Right. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't even know what to say about that. Um. You all have been watching this channel long enough. You probably know what we're going to say before we say it, but um. Spirits do need to be, first of all, DMV, that's too chaotic. There is a point where the energy can be way too chaotic. We don't want to be there. Why (laughs) would an earthy want to hang out at the DMV? Like, what? I don't know. So it's possible, I guess, but. Sure. Absolutely. It's also possible to see him at the beach. Right. And I have. More than once. Yeah. 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 I have. I have as well. Yes. Yeah. I just, I'm sorry. I can't get over the fact that he's wondering why he doesn't have ghost rats. I know. (laughs) (laughs) So he seems to be, oh, I'm sorry. Go on. No, please go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was going to say, he seems to be like laboring under this assumption that all like that when people die, all they do is sort of stay on earth and wander around in spirit form. Which is not the case. No. Some do, but no. the vast majority do not. So right. it, it makes sense that you're not seeing tons and tons and tons of yes. ghosts and, of whatever is died. And I'm also going to say he is a complete, at least he, well, he is appearing to be a, no, a complete non-believer. So he's not typically going to, going to see them. You know, Earthies aren't going to, if you totally don't believe, they can't get anything out of you they're not going to be around you um but most people have never in their life come across a ghost so i mean you have to go try to find them mostly right um anyway yeah so i know aggression the aggression is just off-putting like he called his video why spirituality is stupid it's like okay well i know where we're going here yeah right (laughs) right yes he is a very much a non-believer um in spirit which is really sad which also right. says why he's so angry and hostile Very. and calls babies stupid like it that i i kind of feel sorry for him um if he weren't so irritating i'd feel more <laughs> sorry for him <laughs> yeah but Same. um yeah so and typically um earthies are going to attach to people because that's where they get the most energy from and that's why you find them in most in homes most of the we all know most of the places that we clear our homes 
where people spend a lot of time, where there's a lot of emotion, where they can get t spend time attaching. Um, you all know what an attachment is. And so, mm -hmm. yeah. And I want to bring up the point of ego again. Yes. Animals don't have his. Humans, <laughs> no, not his. <laughs> <laughs> But it's partly the human ego is why we get, we, not as in me, but right. why there are earthbound spirits. Right, right. Because we have an ego. Animals don't yes. have that ego. Correct. Does it happen to animals? Occasionally? Yes. Yeah, very occasionally. Very, but, very occasionally. But, but in insects and that sort of thing, I, no. I've i never heard them, you know, with reincarnating and so forth. Now, um, animals, mammals, yeah, they can reincarnate just like- Higher but, order, like yes. higher order animals can reincarnate. Thank you, Thank you. yes. So, um, but yeah, they don't get attached the way people do. So that ego that you were talking about, Mary, yeah. that's the piece that, that keeps us here and gives us that yeah. choice. A dog or a cat or a rat. They just, it's their time and they go. Yeah. Right. Okay. I think, uh, hopefully that's the last one from him. Yeah. Hi, it's Pam. We'll get back to the video in just a second. I just want to let you know that we've added so many new great services. We'd love to have you come to TCSEverydayPsychics.com and check them out. Go. Jesus Christ Not saved me out of the occult. I was a psychic medium. Here are the top five things I learned immediately about what I had been doing. Number one, I was communicating with demons, mm. not deceased people, not spirit guides, not angels, no psychic is. So well, I can't speak to what she was communicating with. Absolutely not. However, as, as we've learned, um, the church, Anything under sort of that Christian umbrella. I don't know a lot about some other ones, um, other religions, but they pretty much believe in heaven and hell. And there are angels or demons. There's nothing really in between. So if she converted, then of course she's gonna going to feel that way. It makes me kind of sad um, to yeah. watch her because she seems like she's afraid all of a sudden. Um, I thought so too. Like her eyes really like... Yeah. Just her energy is so very fearful. Very, very. And it's really kind of sad if she had that connection before and it's gone now because, well, it's probably not gone, but you know, right. she's scared of it. She's afraid yes. of it. Yes. And that's very sad to me. Very sad. Number two, the sage I was burning because I was taught that would protect me and clear out my space actually is better used in food than to um, ward off demons because demons don't care about sage. Okay. I'm going to agree with her on this one. I know. <laughs> she is. Earthies, spirits of the earth. Nobody cares about sage. She's it's right. It's the human that's using the sage. Sorry, yeah. say that again? It's only the human using the sage cares right. about sage. Right. And it's really, we've all talked about it on here. It's, there's, people use it as a ritual. It helps them um feel better they set their intentions that way they can raise the vibration it's not needed but if you want to use it use it um we don't none of us us use it i don't teach we don't teach using it um unless you want to i mean if that if if that's what makes you feel good but no it's not going to get rid of spirits it's just not going to happen that's not the tool that does it so i think I'll give her yeah, that. one time one sorry, one time you said uh very long ago, I think, that it's the intention behind it. So you could have like an old spoon and be walking yes. around back, yes. you know? Yes. <laughs> an old dirty spoon. <laughs> <Right. laughs> yes, has caked on something on it. Yeah. <laughs> Peanut butter. And you can right. <laughs> yes. Um so so yeah, there's there's yeah, that's all I I think I've said enough. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Number three, this started for me when I was a child and I thought that I was gifted by God with this as a child because I wasn't looking for it, but I found out because it's demonic, I was just depressed 
just like my other contemporary psychic meet well any psychic medium who's having information when they're a child oppression and i believe um i don't know about all christians but i think in the catholic church oppression is one of the levels of possession right, right? yeah 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 oh so, yeah i did not know that yes mm -hmm. i think it's okay. oppression possession and um it's escaping is the first infestation i think infestation right? yeah you're yeah. right i think yeah. it's escaping but i think you're right yeah. yeah um yeah so yes we are more open when we're children and mm -hmm. it it kind of leaves us because it, it's supposed to you're supposed to be human and and then it comes back and really since you said that before, Sarah, now I just look at this poor girl and she keeps looking over. Right. I'm not sure what, but it's it almost, like she's, she's being held at gunpoint. Yes. This video. <laughs> yes. It's almost like that. Like she's really scared and worried about what, like she's talking because someone's telling her to. This is right. creepy now. It, it's kind of unsettling to watch her. Yes. She's very, uh, very frightened. Yeah. Yes. Really frightened. So, um, yikes. Okay. I want to say something about children, though. This is a very good, well, not her example, but if children who have gifting mm -hmm. were, number one, believed when they try to talk to somebody about it, mm -hmm. and even if they're not believed, if they're heard. Yes. And somehow guided. Yes. Out of fear. Yes. It would be so much better for those children. Yes. Yes. And as certainly you two know, and, and anyone that's come through TCS or listens to us, we're not just metaphysical. There's a spiritual piece that really is lost on a lot of people. Yes. And we do talk about that spiritual. This is a very spiritual practice and mm -hmm. um yes that does get lost on a, on a lot of people yeah absolutely right Marilyn. and if people you know as like with my children they're both they they were both really connected when they were little and i would listen to them when they tell me things and we would talk about spirit you know god spirit the sort of the and yeah it just, um, so they were never in fear of anything or they didn't think they were mm -hmm. special. Like it almost thinks like she thought she was like someone told her she was special. That does yeah. happen a lot though, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It yes. Does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're, we're not special. So I mean, we have beautiful gifts, no doubt. And I'm certainly grateful, but none of us are like special. Number four, psychic mediumship actually isn't helping anybody. I thought it was. It's actually hurting people because it leads them away from God and um, will lead them to eternal um, separation from God. So it's not real help. Okay. It's like, it's like she's about to cry. Yes. Yes. That's what brainwash looks like. I'm just saying. That's, mm -hmm. you yeah. know. Uh, it's like the pastor, her, she met some like overzealous pastor who screamed at her to get rid yes. of all this stuff yes. and make a video about it, you know. Yeah, one of those fire and brimstone. Yeah, you're yeah. going to hell if you don't let go of this or something. How mm -hmm. sad! How it's sad. very sad. That made yeah. me very sad. Yeah. yeah, and I can't remember what she said. I can't even comment on the clip because I was just so involved with how sad she is. I know. I think yeah. she was talking about um, we, when you receive information that it, it can only lead you away from God. That's right, and that's well. Again, we just talked about that that's yeah that's sad oh my gosh okay i know yeah i don't have anything sorry ever i don't have much to say about that should we go on yeah five the reason the reason why um the demons were accurate in readings in regards to reporting information um that they've seen and information for the future is because they've seen it. Evil spirits are everywhere. Unclean spirits, familiar spirits, they've seen. They've been watching mankind and studying mankind. That's how they give accurate information in readings. And the predictions are because they've been studying us. And we're not, it's, we're not difficult. Okay. 
so she's really bought into that all information coming through a channel yes is demonic yes and not even and i'm going to say this i'm going to say this with absolute certainty no one knows the future not even those demons if you're going to a psychic and they're telling you they are guessing just like everyone else they're get you can guess better for your we always say that yeah. You can guess better for yourself than anyone else can guess for you the future. Yeah. Because we have free will. So, yes. so we can't, you know, there's no, it's not set in stone ever. No. no. And being psychic isn't about telling the future anyway. No. Right. It's not. It isn't. Right. Not at all. So, um, yeah. So that's Ooh. one of the, yeah, whew. One of I the. I would also that, add, uh, oh, I'm sorry. No, I was going to oh, add please. that, um, it's not like there are spirits just waiting around for psychics to start channeling and then to just feed them information. Like that's a strange right. sort of worldview, you know? That's a very strange worldview. Yeah. That's a fear based. Very. Fear. Very fear based. Very. Yes. Yeah. Which is really, um, it's also why we really stress finding big, um, Finding your worth, realizing who you are, and that every person can garner their own information from spirit for themselves. You don't have to go to a psychic reader for that. Right. So um, at least that's what, you know, that's what we teach is let's this find this, find those kind of answers for yourself. And also... Don't ask those questions about the future. We can dream. We all dream and we all have, like, I really want to do these things. And then you work toward doing it. But going somewhere, psychics make, a, those psychic readers, some of them make a lot of money. Oh, yeah. They make a lot mm. of money. Yes. So I will give her credit in the area of, yeah, most psychics are kind of fraudulent. She didn't say those words, but that's what she was saying. <laughs> that is, yep, that is what she yeah. was. Yes. She was leaning yeah. to, yeah. Yeah, psychic well, readers can really be, as we've talked about, I always say 90% of them are just fraudulent. And even and if they're offering, oh, go sorry, ahead. No, I was, <laughs> I was say, if, they're, if they're offering divination, then you know that's something kind of sketchy. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And and that's the part I should say that Devin, because we all are psychic. So, <laughs> <laughs> but yes, that reader piece, that divination piece, right. um, no one can know. Yeah. No one can know the future. It's just not, or who your next love is going to be, or if someone's going to come back or any of that stuff. It's just rely on yourself, learn to rely on yourself. And um, mm -hmm. yeah. For those psychics that are fraudulent, they're just out there to get the money and they're giving information just out of their ego. Yes. It's still not coming from the demons. Still not. No. It's no. still not coming from a demon. No. 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 Although some of them I will say might be evil themselves. <laughs> so if you're if you are saying, and I know and yes, Marilyn, I absolutely agree. And there are those few. They're not that many, but there are those few um, who ask for thousands of dollars. And I'm going to, I'll take your money. You know, you're having a hard time in your marriage. You know that I had a, someone came in that used to come to meditations, that poor thing. She had given thousands of dollars. I don't remember how much. It was a lot, like 20 grand maybe Oof. to this mm. psychic. She was going to go bury it in the desert to make her marriage better. Uh, so we have to take some responsibility for that. And so that person, yeah, she was an evil. Right. Biatch. Like that, <laughs> not really possessed by the devil, but she chose to just be fraudulent. Right. Everybody. Yeah. So it was a crook. <laughs> yes, ma'am. All right. Well, that was kind of fun. Um, I hope that was, that was kind of fun. It. That was a little disturbing and it was. A little, <laughs> yeah. Yes. 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 <laughs> So, 
Uh, please comment. Leave leave your comments below. Thank you everyone for watching our video tonight. Thank you, for Sarah, for um, joining us. I'm sure we'll see you more. I hope so. That was a lot yeah. of fun having you with us. Yes, it was. Yes, thank you for having yeah. me. That was very a lot of fun. I appreciate it. A lot of fun, a little disturbing. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. um, if you want to find out what, what opportunities we offer, go to tcseverydaypsychics.com to find out. Yes, if you have paranormal activity and want our help, you can find us through the website. Contact us through the website as well. Yes. All right. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye. Bye.